Welcome to Excel Magic Tricks 1743. Hey, in this video, we got to see the amazing filter array function to perform advanced aggregate calculations. Now in the Excel worksheet, we have a beautiful set of Excel functions to make aggregate calculations with conditions and criteria. But count ifs, sum ifs, average ifs, min ifs, and max ifs, by default, they do an AND logical test. So all of these formulas are making their aggregate calculations based on three conditions using this data set. The filter function can make this calculation but it's more complicated and harder to do. Now, where things get tricky with aggregate calculations and where we might consider jumping over to using filter is when we run an OR logical test. Now, this OR logical test right here for some and all these aggregate calculations, we're asking, I want to add or count all of the records in this data set based on one, two, three conditions. Specifically, these three conditions work in an OR logical test this way. We ask of that sales rep, are you equal to Gigi, or are you equal to Sue, or are you equal to Tyrone? In this case, we get false, true, false, so the record is included. We jump down to the next cell, and the logical construction is the same. There's three conditions here, so we have to ask three different questions. Is GG equal to GG? True. Is GG equal to Sue? False. GG equal to Tyrone? False. When we get down to Abdi, we finally get one, two, three falses. So that number will not be included. But all three conditions are going to be working on a single column. If that's the case, we don't need to jump over to filter yet because we can run an OR logical test using some ifs. Well, almost. Some range, we highlight the numbers we want to add, comma, criteria range, well, there it is. Notice it's a single column, comma, and then in criteria, I'm going to put all three conditions into criteria one. Now, normally, some ifs can't handle array calculations, but that's for the sum range and criteria range arguments criteria argument, it has no problems. This is called a function argument array operation. Because when we give it three items, it instructs some ifs to deliver the sum for each one of those conditions. So when I close parentheses and hit the F9 key, there's the three answers. Control Z. In earlier versions of Excel, not Microsoft 365, you'd put it inside the sum product function. And bam, sum product would add those three numbers. But in Microsoft 365, you just put it in sum. Now, before I hit Enter, I'm going to lock this with the F4 key and the criteria range, because I want those locked as I copy the formula from sales team 1 to sales team 2. So Control Enter, copy it to the side, F2. Now for count, max, and min, we do the same construction. But what in the world do we do when we get to average? We absolutely cannot put average ifs inside of the average function. In this case, this is where filter comes to the rescue. For the array, that's the column or table that I want to filter, I'm going to say, hey, look at all the numbers that I'm interested in averaging, comma, and then I need to build a column of trues and falses. Now, fundamentally, when you do an OR logical test based on multiple conditions and it's looking at a single column, you are doing compare to lists logical construction. So that's when we use the match function. For the lookup value, you give it every single sales rep from the sales rep column. We're doing a function argument array operation, so this match function will deliver an answer for every single row in this table. And I'm going to hit the F4 key, comma, and then the lookup array, one, two, three. And then match will deliver a one, two, three for each one of these items. Close parentheses. And let's just highlight that and hit the F9 key. 
since we're interested in matches, and match tells you the relative position of an item in a list, the numbers are what we're interested in. So Control Z. Now we do is number, close parentheses. That will give us trues and falses. And guess what? Filter understands trues and falses. And we'll filter this column, Control Z, close parentheses, F9. And those are the only values that we want based on our OR logical test. Control Z. Now I put that inside of average. And that filter comes to the rescue. Control Enter, copy it to the side. And that divide by zero error, that tells us I forgot to lock. F2 back in the original cell. Select array F4. Control Enter. Copy it to the side. Standard deviation is similar. We have to jump over to filter. All right, that's aggregate trick number one for filter. Now, last video we did a daily sales report. And when we did the average calculation, I used some product. I went old school. But our teammate Stein said, guess what? You can use filter here. So what we need to compare text dates to serial number dates is we use the text function. For value, we give it a function argument array operation, F4, comma. And then for format text, in double quotes, we put custom number formatting for three-day abbreviation, DDD. Close, double quote, close parentheses, F9. That's the full column of the days of the week, Control Z. I ask the question, are any of you equal to whatever that day is, F9? There's our trues and falses that we can put inside filter. Filter, there are the numbers. F4 key, comma, and we'll use text inside of include, close parentheses. If you hit F9, there's the numbers for Monday. Control Z, after the equal sign, we'll put average, close parentheses, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Go to the last cell and F2. So filter comes to the rescue here rather than using some product. Now, the other way that filter can help is this is an OR logical test checking on a single column. Let's go over to filter two. Here's an OR logical test where I want to do these aggregate calculations based on records where the product is quad or the sales rep is ABDI. Notice if we ask the question of two different columns, in this case we get true and true. Down here we get false and true. True, true, and here we get true and false. And if we add the columns of trues and falses together, guess what? The result, because we're using a math operator on logical values, the result will be a number. Sometimes we'll get 2, sometimes we'll get 0, and sometimes we get 1. Fundamentally, what is an OR logical test? It means I want a true when one or more conditions are met. Zero conditions are met, one condition, and this is more than one, two. So all numbers besides zero are considered true. Luckily, all logical worksheet functions in Excel interpret all non-zero numbers as true. So we can build inside the cell using filter, the array that I want to average is that sales column, comma, and then include inside parentheses. I say, hey, full product column, are any of you equal to quad? Close parentheses. And for an OR logical test in statistics, math, and data analysis, you use the plus operator. Open parentheses. And we say, hey, sales rep column, are any of you equal to ABDI? Close parentheses. Now, I had to use the parentheses here to force the equal sign to calculate before the math operator. But when we close parentheses and hit the F9 key, there's the three numbers that we want to average. Control Z, and then we put it inside of average, not average deviation. Close parentheses and Enter. 
and then using filter for all these aggregate calculations when you have an OR logical test on two or more columns, that will work. Now, all of these examples are from my upcoming book, Chapter 13 in that book, The Only App That Matters, except for that cool one that came from our YouTube teammate, Stein. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.